Yeah, it is. When this obviously it's big rugby town, we're actually from a town um, just outside Witness. We grew up in Runcorn, but it's very close to Witness. Um, we just played at a young age, played at school, and just went from there. Didn't really think anything off it, just enjoyed playing with our mates. And then uh, suddenly Witness said, Do you want to come down for a scholarship session? So we thought, oh, we might as well try it out. And somehow built our way up and up to get where we are. So it, rugby found us, really. We didn't really go looking for it. We enjoyed playing with our friends, and yeah. that was about it. We, we actually played uh, tennis for the county, so we did that. We used to be been to our football and everything like that. I think I think every I think JJ said it. Every rugby league plays a failed footballer. So <laughs> um, yeah, I was a keeper. You were a centre midfielder. Yeah, I, got I was a bit that fat. I moved to centre back. So I know. I, as I, was, I got bigger, I moved into slower position. I was all right in goal as well, to be fair. But but now nah, we, we did that, and then we we um, got our teacher at school was a really good rugby league player back in the day, Tony Fretwell and Paul George, and then they decided to do the rugby, and that's what we, we went from there. But no, it was mainly tennis, football, and things like that, yeah, really. We love sport, sports. we just did, did sport all, all the time. Any after school club that involved sport, we, we were on it, so. Uh, looking up the rugby wise, we used to we used to watch Witness as, as a kid. Really, since we were three, we used to go to the games and watch. And we had a lot of players, ironically, players we got to play with when we were older. So Paddy Flynn and uh, players like that coming up, we really enjoyed watching them play. We were watching Danny Craven come through and players like that, and getting to play them. They were an inspiration to go play rugby. We really enjoyed watching them. But um, sport wise, my mum probably my mum would love sport. She was into she did a rugby, tennis, she did everything and. I think really she didn't really like us growing up, so she stuck us at school and made us do an after school club every week. So <laughs> I think it was more Peace keep, quiet, keep yeah. the lads, stick a racket in their hands and make sure they don't come back to late oh, at night. Yeah. So we used to do school trips, like tennis and stuff, and we our names were down before we even knew it. So <laughs> but she must phone up. My mum was very sporty and really we just followed her tracks, didn't we really? Yeah. And just probably wanted to beat each other was a big inspiration other than looking up at someone, seeing him doing slightly better than me or him the other way around just that competitive and just love the competitive aspect of it all. Yeah, so obviously we start off in the Witness Academy and then um, when you get a bit older, you, you, you're not quite in that first team environment, you move on. I know Ted went down to Whitehaven before me. I, I managed place. to, yeah. I, I enjoyed it at Whitehaven yeah. a lot, I did. I managed to do a year, I uh, mean last year of Academy with Brett Hodson who was the um, academy coach and he was absolutely fantastic and I, I owe him a lot really for, for where I am now and um, yeah from that we, we both went on loan to Whitehaven for a bit I managed to get into the, the winners first team a bit a little bit earlier you went on loan to like to Bradford yeah. and played uh, in North Wales a couple of times been everywhere mate yeah but, but no we, we were quite fortunate <laughs> off to her but didn't play say, <laughs> you know say, what I mean say, say, say quite, count yeah, say quite fortunate but when we were younger, Witness had quite a few injuries in our position and it gave me an opportunity to play first team at a young age and then from then I've not really looked back, I just loved, loved playing and obviously we signed for Ottawa, that fell through because of Covid and then um, it seemed fitting to come to, come to Newcastle because we, we obviously know Dennis and Freddie becoming the head coach, I actually played with Freddie as a player, yeah, so, so and he, was, he, was a, he was a great player, so to be able to get coached by Freddie who he, I sort of know what his philosophy is and, and what he sees, it's like not just a club, it's a family club and you want that aspect of the team being being together just seemed like a great place to be so this this is where we're at at the minute it, it was crazy to be honest um, obviously uh, uh, things that went on with witness where the club had gone part-time and um, still for absolutely fantastic club at part-time they tried to keep it as professional as they could uh, but the to be honest the opportunity to go full-time was just something that we, we I didn't want to say no to and um, obviously seeing the things the up and downs that went on with Toronto but uh, we got a good vibe from Ottawa that was going to be a little bit different. They had a different sort of um, mentality of how to recruit and what they were going to build. And the excitement of just being at a club from the start and seeing how it could go, that, that really um, enticed me and said to go down there. And like I said, you, you, you can never regret situations because um, that falling through allowed us to come, to come sign here. So uh, you, you're never where you are without things happening that you can't expect to happen. So uh, it was just... a a, a new adventure sort of that we want to take as a career growing up through witness you obviously you're a young lad going up and um yeah it just seemed the right point to, to move on but um yeah we ended up here and it, it's fantastic we're, we're loving it at the minute it's, a, it's amazing i like, like it, it's weird because i was so nervous to start with uh, when i found out the news and um 
it, it didn't take long for get my head around it, but obviously it doesn't quite sink in till the moment they're born. <laughs> and um, oh, she's, she's a bundle of joy, like she's completely changed. I always said I wouldn't be them dads, like posting everywhere on Instagram <laughs> and Facebook and my phone feed's full of photos and it, it, it's madness. But I, I absolutely love it. I love spending time with her and watching her grow. And um, one of my main things was anytime if I ever had a child was to bring them to the game and I managed to do that, which is amazing. And Freddie's already said they're going to sort out a family day near the end of the year where I can actually walk out with her, which for me is probably one of the most proudest things I could do, so, but no, I'm loving it. Um, everyone keeps saying it's sleepless nights, but my, my, fingers crossed, she's sleeping well. 11 the last thing he says that. Yeah, 11 o'clock bed, seven o'clock in the morning. I know it'll probably change when this comes out now, I'll bags down to here, but yeah. no, she's been a dream so far, she has. The, oh yeah, the, the twin heights. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really nice cap. Bit, bit of marking. Very there's cheap. A, there's a social media page on Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> um. But no, we obviously in lockdown we went into furlough. We, we have uh, background. We have degrees in exercise sports and exercise science. We um, stayed educated and we did our PT course. And I thought, oh, I'll give it a whirl. I'll try a couple, so let it cover furlough, and that's it. And then somehow it blew up, and we managed to create this brand and this business we have, which we absolutely both love. Yeah. Enjoy doing it. It's, it's a pleasure to go into work every day. It doesn't feel like work. It's like playing rugby. So we went from full-time rugby to then part-time, but then coming into a job where we both love doing. And the people we've met there and the things we've done there are just fantastic and I love it. So yeah, £15.99. <laughs> but no, we, no, we do really enjoy you know, it. £12 funder discount fans. Oh yeah, £12 funder discount fans. <laughs> so there's a lot of transferable skills and values that you can take over that. To, if I could share that with people that are going through their own goals in life and aspire to be someone, there's nothing better when we get messages saying people they've improved, they've done this, they've lost this amount of weight, they've improved on this, this, this. And it just makes your day because you're helping them be better at life and be better, better versions of themselves. And that's what rugby's taught us to do. It's taught us throughout the years to be better versions of ourselves and on and off the field. So on the field, but people know off the field, me and Jay, we do a lot off the field, especially when we were through witness and even we would do through now, we've done some promos. It's just making yourself that complete package because rugby doesn't last forever so when you're finished and it can mold yourself into that complete package then and i love the fact that we can try and do that with people just in the public that want to do the gym they want to become a complete package they want to better themselves and to be able to do that's just fantastic mm -hmm. and it's nothing more satisfying than when a fitness drill out there that you get beasted on next day i'm in class <laughs> there straight away listen no complaint i did this yesterday and i was blowing and then half of them were getting better times than me like, oh, said, no. said it was weird we came to new we had pre-season obviously we were off season doing personal training and i'm telling people what to do so when i was on the field and john told me to do a burpee i was looking at him like who's he telling me to do a burpee yeah i've been telling people to do burpees for three months I know. so it was quite weird to get on the floor and go ah there's the boss now yeah. there's, so you used to be in the boss and now you've been told after to do pre-season again we're a lot more sympathetic now with our yeah. we're still we're still we're still working hard but definitely not as before and <laughs>